So today, what I have for you guys is my Gucci'd out FM products AR9 build series. Or sorry, Gucci'd out gun build. And I haven't seen too much of these Gucci'd out on the internet, so this may be the ultimate one or the best one on the YouTube right now. So that's pretty, I'm pretty proud of that. I'm pretty happy about that. So with that, let's jump into the series. First, I'm gonna give you guys a rundown on the gun, what all I have into it, why I have into it. Then we're gonna discuss, is it in fact considered a Gucci out gun build? You know, like, do you guys, like, what do you guys think? Do you guys think this qualifies as a Gucci out build? And uh, we're, then we're gonna say what I would have done differently or what I'd like to see changed on it to make it more of a Gucci out gun build. So let's jump right into it. All right, so firstly, I'm gonna go from back to front and just give you guys kind of a rundown on this gun also, on some of the parts, if you guys aren't familiar with the FM products AR9, this is a fantastic AR, it's really fun to use and it's probably one of my favorite guns to shoot because it's just so fun and Blah, blah, blah. So moving right ahead, I do have a chamber flag in there. So we do know that there is no rounds. There is no rounds in the mag also. I also have these 40 round mags that match the gun and work pretty well with the gun. This is a plus 10 from Taran Tactical on a regular block magazine. So that will give you some nice ammo capacity. And what's cool about this gun is that not only can you charge it from the left side with the bolt release, but you can also use a side charging handle to you know, clear malfunctions or put around in the chamber or send the bolt forward, whatever, which is pretty cool. And I, most of the time I like using these Glock 19 mags with just a plus, I think it's a plus one on there. But starting from back to front, what we have on the back is, I don't even remember. What, oh yeah, this is the SB Tactical Pistol Brace. This one is adjustable. It's not like the rip brace, so you can't just pull it out. You have to adjust it. I think this one is a five position, which is pretty good. And then moving forward, we have some red takedown pins from Strike Industries to match up with everything else. And then we have this beautiful Odin 45 degree safety, which is also ambidextrous. It may look funny on this side for a right hander because the short side is showing, but on the opposite side, if I were to grab it with my right hand, you can easily access the safety there. It's just kind of a awkward angle there, but it's super easy to uh, manipulate the safety here. And then moving forward, the best part about this gun, which probably will be the deciding factor if it's a Gucci out gun or not, is this Geisley Super Dynamics trigger. This is a three and a half pound trigger. And since I have the scale, let's just do a trigger pull test and see how much we're pulling at with this amazing Geisley trigger. I'm gonna try and pull it as low as I can, but this is a round trigger, so it's not gonna be super easy to get low on it. Oh. Would help if we turned off the safety. Let me just delete that so it doesn't affect our average. Wow, that is super light. What? One pound, 12 ounces. I'm gonna turn off this light actually so you guys can see a lot easier and I'll turn it back on shortly after we're done doing these trigger pull tests. So I'm gonna enter that and we're gonna get a three shot average here. I want you guys to comment down below how much you think the trigger pull is gonna be. It's a Geisley super dynamic three and a half pound trigger. And if you know Geisley, you know that they're super clean, super crisp, just, in my opinion, they're the ultimate triggers. I mean, you will pay a good amount of money for, for it, but comment down below how much you think, how much pounds you think it's gonna be. If it's gonna be one, two, three, or four. Okay, so next pull here. We have a two pounds, 5.5 ounces. Enter that. And you can see just doing this test, it's super easy to charge this AR-15. 
being that it's a side charger. All right, so let's do the third and final. All right, 2.63 ounces, two pounds, 6.3 ounces. So enter that and we have a three shot average. Actually, I'm gonna do one more just because that first one seemed pretty low at one pound. All right, so the third one is, I didn't move and I dropped it. Two pounds, 4.9 ounces, enter that. And we have a four shot average of two pounds, 3.4 ounces, which is ridiculous. That is like a race gun. Literally, that's literally like a race gun. That is amazing. And then moving forward, probably the item on this gun that you guys will say it's not a Gucci out gun because of this optic. We have a Holo Sun. This is, I mean, it's the HS403B. That is a red optic, it's a two MOA optic, but I still stand by my word on the Holo Sun optics. I've shot a lot of different optics and the Holo Sun just have the, the least distortion on the red dot. You can turn down the brightness as low as possible for you know, the lighting situation that you're in. And it has just a really crisp and clean two MOA dot. So in my opinion, it's just, it's super hard to beat for the money. So I'm just gonna keep repping the Holo Suns. And I just think it's a fantastic option. I did try to change the bolt release on this gun to a Magpul bad lever. I tried to put that on, but it can't fit on this gun because it has like a special um, bolt release that's really thick. So you can't change that. And if you can see here, it's also connected to, let me turn the light back on real quick. It's also connected to this bar. So you can't really take it off. It's kind of like a proprietary thing. So you're kind of stuck with that. And then we have at the bottom a Magpul K2 grip. This one has a steeper angle on it, so it is easier to shoot this gun because it is very compact. This is a, I believe it's a, I think it's a nine inch barrel. Don't quote me on that, I believe this is a nine inch barrel. I could be wrong, but it's very short package and the stock has very, a very low, trigger to stock range. So it's good to have the K2 grip. I really do sound like an expert, trigger to stock range. Yeah, I'm definitely an expert, no I'm not. And moving forward, we have this lovely Strike Industries foregrip. I like this one because I like to hold it like this. I like to wrap my hand around and get a good grip on the gun so I can, you know, transition quickly to targets and you know, I can also disengage my hand for reloads easily as well. So I like this grip all in all. It's not very bulky either. And it gives you a good grip to push against your shoulder for some good accuracy. And then my favorite part about this gun is the paratrooper charging handle on the front. This one is the full aluminum one. And it gives you, I think you can get, yeah, you can get up to about three fingers on there, which is pretty good. So you can get a really good perch on there to charge this gun quickly. And then you can just fold it up with your thumb or you know, if you just let it flash, you can just flash it forward and whatever. This is a super, if you have this gun, I would definitely recommend getting the paratrooper charging handle. If you want to get one, you'll have to email them. Just go to their website and email, I believe his name is Aaron. And then you just have to send them like $15 through PayPal and they'll, e they'll send it to you. I actually got sent two because they sent me one for like a, I think it's a 10 inch or 11 inch um, rail. So you have to definitely get the one for your rail system. I believe this is a nine inch rail. Um, so you'd have to get the one to match your rail. Okay. so. That's it for the build. Let me know what you guys think about this gun build. If you think this is a five star build, just go ahead and write five stars in the comment section. If you think I missed the mark, you know, you can tell me. If you don't think this is a Gucci out build, let me know. I reply to all comments. So if you guys think, you know, the FM products, because it's a budget gun, I think this gun, you can get a lot of times on sale 
for like six hundred and fifty dollars. If you think the gun is just cheap and can't be a Gucci Doll build series, let me know in the comment section below. I love hearing you guys' feedback. All right, and now this is the part where I'm gonna say if there's anything I could want to change on this, and there is. I've been trying to get my hands on that nine millimeter piston for my suppressor. So I would like to have a shorter rail on this and then screw off this flash can so I can thread on a suppressor. I think the suppressor would really, really make this gun a super fun gun to build, sorry, to plink with just for fun because it'd be super quiet with the suppressor and suppressors are just badass. I think this gun would really, really be good with a suppressor on it. So that's my two cents on it. Other than that, there's not really much I wanted to change. I did have a light on this at one point, but I just thought it was too bulky because this is a super small package and I was just trying to keep it sleek. And I also want to say that this gun is a phenomenal gun because it's a nine millimeter carbine. So it allows you to practice with your familiar AR-15 controls for cheaper. And you can also shoot this gun at digital ranges because it is a seven inch barrel, which is fantastic. It's super fun to shoot that Nexus indoor shooting range, for example. You can do defend the earth, defend against zombies. You can do time events where you shoot different plates. Super fun to shoot this gun indoors at like a digital range. And everybody I give this gun to, even people that don't like shooting, they always take a liking to this gun. I think that's because of the Geisley trigger. I think because the trigger is just so soft and easy to use that it just makes the gun super accurate and people just feel like it's a very, it's a confidence inspiring gun. And with that, roll the range footage. Round eight. And yeah, let me know what anything you guys would change on this gun. Would you paint this gun? I was thinking of painting it like a red camo, but I'm not sure it might. I just have a feeling it's too much red going on with the build. So let me know your guys thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. I would love to hear back from you guys. Listen.